subscribe. Ah! Hey, kid. I don't know if you've been following the news lately, but we recently had a very big strike. Yeah, crayons went on strike. It was terrible. We couldn't draw for like eight whole minutes. But don't worry, everyone came to the table, the reading table, and now everyone is happy. Yeah. Well, not everyone. Oh, pencils on strike! Pencils on strike! Pencils on strike! Pencils, pencils on strike. No, wait a minute. We can't have pencils on strike. I can't be Ms. Wright if I can't write. Th that means I can't use my hair pencil. And what about my aha uh -huh moments with my pencil? Why, pencils? Why? Well, we have a lot of experience with strikes now. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, uh, if we learned anything from the last strike, is that we have to find out why the pencils are upset. Yeah, and it could get ugly. <laughs> Hopefully not. But there's only one way to find out. Well, seems like the only thing we can do is come to the table. The reading table. I'm going to go on Storyteller Strike if you keep stealing my lines. I'm kidding. I can't quit you. Here we go. Pencils are on strike. Oh, what's that sound? What is happening right now? Oh, I think my pencils are leaving the premises. They're gone. They're all gone. Well, the crayons aren't on strike, so let's see what's going on with the pencils. Hopefully the lessons from the past strike will help us in this current strike situation. Oh, this book apparently is dedicated to my teacher, Mrs. Johnson, and you and me and the Kid Time family. Oh, look at this beautiful pencil collection. This pencil is definitely the aha uh -huh pencil. And then this one is a smarty pants pencil. And this is fitness pencil. And this is graduate pencil. And that's superhero pencil. And that's reading pencil. And that's super cool guy DJ pencil. Waka waka wah. And this is a uh, Slurpee after school pencil. And oh, oh, they are immediately on strike. And the one with the megaphone, that one, that's probably the boss guy. The most unappreciated things are usually the most used. These utensils are usually lost and abused. Now I see a collection of pencils that seem to be hiding out from the sharpener. Da, da, da. Why is the sharpener so scary? Could they be suffering from over sharpening syndrome? Is that even a thing? This is the story of a group of pencils that are so often overlooked. The kind of important tool needed to write in a notebook. <sighs> Whoa, this notebook is heavy. I know, I put a lot of ideas inside. Keep going, that away. Few people think about how hard a pencil's life is. It's true, I've never really stopped to think about it. We help all students, especially the math whiz. Our ability is to capture thoughts and translate them on to paper. But no, our important has not at all kept us safer. Oh, I feel like they are panicking over something. We're more reliable than the pen, because with us, you can correct. But has that earned us more respect? Of course not, hasn't happened yet. Ooh, they just totally trash talked pens. They kind of just did. The next book is gonna be called Pencils versus Pen, a war story. Uh. Okay, before you ask me to read that, it's not a real book. Yet. So when the students were at lunch and we were laid to rest, we got together and we did what we do best. We aired our complaints and wrote a letter just to be clear. We had some grievances for the students to hear. Grievances is a formal word that also means complaints. Students, we're here to tell you that we're sick of being tossed around. Sick of it, I tell you. Rolled around, snapped in half. Oh! Oh! Yee! I wasn't expecting that kind of violence. Or left to fall hard on the ground. Okay, that was just one time, and it was a total mistake because I was in a hurry. Someone's feeling defensive. 
You treat us poorly every day, as if we don't even matter. You press us into pages, ow, until our lead tips crack and shatter. Ow, now we do need the sharpener. We're thrown into bins, ow, hold on there, Pinky, ow! As if we couldn't so easily break. The abuse is more than we can take. We're chewed on and held in mouths as if we had just fought. Our erasers are bent or bit off, often without a second thought. Why? The eraser isn't even delicious. I beg to differ. We're constantly being sharpened. I'm telling you, they have a sharpener syndrome going on in this book. As if we're no good without a tip. Sometimes we're covered in uncomfortable rubber so fingers don't slip. And not to mention the snapping that you sometimes do with us for fun. You carelessly toss us aside when you feel our work is finally done. Again, it accidentally rolled off the piano that one time, okay? But how often is it that you see a pencil get used gently at school? So much of us gets wasted despite us being such an important tool. Oh, look at the green pencil dreaming of being gently cradled in a kid's hands instead of getting tossed aside. But we won't have it anymore, you see. Today we go on strike. We will no longer take the treatment that we don't like. We're mad and we're not going to take it anymore. Oh, yeah. Who's feeling snappy now? Arr. We will not write for you. Rights for pencils. Rights for pencils. Angry pencils. I dig it. When the kids got back, a young girl saw the letter first. We saw her eyes well up with tears, and she suddenly burst. <laughs> wow, she's really touched by the plight of the pencil. <laughs> They're right, she said. We should treat our pencils better. Come on now, grab a pencil. Let's practice it together. Let's practice it together. I don't know what we're going to practice, but let's do it. Oh, I see. And one by one, the students handled us with more care. All it took was a letter to make everything good and fair. And check it out. Happy pencil, happy kid, happy pencil, happy kid, happy pencil. Let this be a lesson for the school supplies you use. Be careful how you handle them. Don't let them feel abused. Use them with gentleness and care, and they won't feel blue. Unless your pencil is blue, in which case it should feel blue. Then anytime you need them, pencils will be there for you. So, it's just like we said. Yeah, we have a lot of experience with strikes. Yeah, and uh, basically just takes communication and listening and making some adjustments, and then everyone is happy. So at last, the crayons aren't on strike anymore. The pencils aren't on strike anymore. I can be Ms. Wright again. I can have my hair pencil again. I can have my aha uh -huh pencil again. And all is good in the land. Except for some angry pens. They're on their way right now. Let's just go before they get here. I am out of sides for my sign anyway.